before we start our lesson, let's have a short prayer followed by our virtual classroom rules. Let us open our hearts to the Lord and pray. We thank you for this new day, O Lord. We come to you today asking for your guidance, wisdom, and support as we begin this meeting. Help us to engage in meaningful discussion. Allow us to grow closer as a group. Fill us with your grace, Lord God, as we make decisions. And continue to remind us that all that we do here today, all that we accomplish is for the pursuit of truth, for the greater glory of you, and for the service of humanity. We ask these things in your name. Amen. Good day, students. It's been a long time. Welcome back to our science class. First of all, I would like to congratulate everyone because we are now halfway completing grade 9 science. We are now in quarter 3, which is about earth science. Good job, class, for making it here. Our first lesson for this quarter is all about the different types of volcano. And this is our lesson objective. Describe the different types of volcanoes and volcanic eruption. Let us have some unlocking difficulties. Let us define some terms that you will encounter on this lesson. Let us define what is a volcano. Volcanoes are natural opening in the earth's surface where molten rocks, smokes, Gases and ashes are ejected. Have you seen Mayon Volcano? Located in Albay, Bicol, Philippines. Did you know that Mayon Volcano is one of the world's most active volcano and it is very popular because of its perfect cone shape? Volcano has three basic parts namely Base, slope, summit, where the crater or opening is located. Speaking of crater, crater is a funnel-shaped depression at the top of a volcano formed as a result of explosive eruption. It is the mouth or opening of the volcano. Do you know this volcano? This is Taal Volcano, located in Batangas, Philippines. This volcano has many craters, not just one, two, or three, but 47 craters. Amazing, right? Speaking of caldera, caldera is a volcanic crater that is formed when a part of the wall of the crater collapses following an explosive eruption. A caldera collapse is usually triggered by an emptying of the magma chamber beneath volcano as the result of the large volcanic eruption. When we say magma, it is a hot fluid or semi-fluid material below or within Earth's crust 
that is usually made of molten rocks. When the magma ejected out of the volcano, it is now called lava. Lava is an Italian term which means to slide, which is what molten rocks does when it reaches the surface. Now, let us proceed to the different types of volcanoes. Volcanoes can be classified according to its shape and according to its eruption. Let's proceed first the types of volcanoes according to its shape. The first type is shield volcano. This is formed by the accumulation of lava oozes out from the volcano. Since non-viscous lava can flow freely, a broad, slightly doomed structure that resembles a warrior's shield is formed. That is why it is called a shield volcano because it looks like a warrior's shield. Example is Mauna Loa in Hawaii. The second type is what we call cinder cone volcano. This is built from ejected lava fragments. They have a steep slope, wide crater, and is most abundant of the three major volcanoes. It is also known as scoria cone. Example of it is Mount Paricutin in Mexico. As you can see, it has a steep slope and has a wide crater that are characteristics of a cinder cone volcano. Lastly, we have composite volcano. It is known as strato volcano. This is large, nearly perfect slope structure from the alternate solidification of both lava and pyroclastic deposits. According to the volcanologists, or the people who study about volcanoes, some of the Earth's grandest mountains are composite volcanoes. One good example of it is our very own Mayon Volcano. And those are the three types of volcanoes according to its shape. Again, we have shield volcano that is broad and resembles warrior shield. Cinder cone volcano which is also known as scoria cone and has wide craters. Composite volcano or also known as strato volcano with nearly perfect slope structure. But why do volcanoes have different types? It is because the process of magma formation is different as its type of plate boundaries. Therefore, the composition of magma differs in its tectonic settings. Now, let us have a short activity. Let us identify the following volcanoes as shield volcano, cinder cone volcano, and composite volcano. Let's start! This is Mount St. Helens in southwestern part of Washington state. And this is an example of right class. Cinder Cone Volcano Next is the beautiful Mount Fuji in Japan What do you think is this type of volcano? Very good class This is a composite volcano Perfect. Next we also have Mauna Loa in Hawaii This is an example of Good job class! This is a shield volcano. Now, 
let's go to the types of volcano according to its volcanic eruption. The first one is phreatic. It is a stream-driven eruption as the hot rocks come in contact with water. It is also known as hydrothermal. Phreatic eruption is the type of eruption that happens to Taal Volcano last January 12, 2020. Next, we have Freato Magmatic. It is a violent eruption due to the contact between water and magma. Unlike phreatic that happens because of hot rocks come in contact with water. Freato magmatic eruption happens if there is an interaction between water and magma resulting to a violent fine ash eruption. The third is strombolian. It is a period weak to violent eruption characterized by fountain lava as shown in your screen right now. It is a fountain lava. The fourth one is called as Vulcanian. It is characterized by tall eruption that reach up to 20 kilometers high with pyroclastic flow and ashfall tephra. Again, it is characterized as tall eruption. Lastly, we have Plinian. It is excessively explosive type of eruption of gas and pyroclastics. It is intensely violent eruption that happens to Mount Pinatubo year 1991. Again, the five types of volcanic eruption are First, phreatic or the stream-driven eruption that happens between the contact of hot rocks and water. Second, phreatomagmatic that happens between the interaction of magma and water resulting to a violent fine ash eruption. Third, Strombolian eruption or characterized as fountain lava. Fourth, Vulcanian or characterized as tall eruption. Fifth, Plinian as the most excessively explosive eruption. Moreover, we can also classify volcanoes according to its record of eruption active volcano a volcano is active if it has a record of eruption on the other side a volcano is inactive if it shows no activity and no record of eruption just like mount canlaon located in canlaon city negros occidental we are going to discuss more about this on our next video. To end our lesson, we can thank volcanoes of life on Earth. To put simply, volcanoes keep the Earth warm and wet, which are two critical elements for sustaining life. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you learn something new again.